guys we were doing so good we were doing so good we were getting ready to go home it is april um six now at 4 15 a.m hold on the nurse is here yo we're having a baby it is 421 on april 6 and we're having a baby that's uh Oh. Oh. I think they gotta put your guts back in. Already? You can't tell right now. Yeah. 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 Why is it taking an hour? Now they gotta put everything back in. Yeah, they gotta put everything in. Oh, it's hey, okay. He looks so little. Hey guys, <laughs> we had a baby. Um, 29 weeks in one day. He's in the NICU now. I just finished my surgery and we're in the recovery room. I did end up having to get a C-section, which is crazy, but we're both safe and healthy. He's beautiful and I can't wait to see him. Um, we're going to be going on a NICU journey now for a while until he's you know, strong enough to go home and stuff. He's two, he's under three pounds. Which is crazy. Under three pounds. In the pictures, he looks so big though. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on. And I'm a mom of two officially. And it goes right here. Right here. And yeah, we're chilling. I'm in the recovery room. Our babies are 13 months apart. <laughs> so April 6th. Yeah, everything just started going really crazy around 4 o'clock this morning. I woke up to bleeding a bunch and they decided to just go ahead and do the C-section. And at 5.08 a.m. he was here. So it's currently 6.07. And um, yeah. That's awesome. He had gotten all his steroids and the magnesium, so it looks like he's doing great so far, but I'm just ready to go see him. I'll keep you guys all updated. Hey y'all, it is April 6th um, at 8.46 a.m. And they just moved me to a postpartum room. I was in the recovery room for a couple hours, just making sure everything was good. Now I'm in a postpartum. They said around noon, if everything goes well, I'll be able to get up and go see baby boy. Michael just left to go see him. That's why he's not here. Um, but yeah, he's doing good. He was 15.7 inches and 2.7 pounds when he was born. So he's small, but I mean, we gave him the steroids for his lungs and the magnesium for his brain. So I'm just going to keep hoping and praying that that all did help. And he's just going to be getting big soon. Sorry, a nurse had come in. So I had to pause the video. Um, but yeah, we're just taking things one step at a time. They just gave me ice chips. And then we'll try water, clear fluids and jello, and then food. Um, 
But yeah, around noon time is when I'll finally be able to go see baby boy. So I'll just keep you guys updated with that because I'm so excited to see him. Michael gets to go see him and be with him, which is good. Um, my mom should be coming later tonight. It's, uh, it just, everything happens so freaking fast. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, it's, it's good. Because, I mean, I'd rather, again, it be, like, controlled than an emergency. But everything happened really, really fast. Like, I'm pretty sure I told you I woke up at, like, 4 o'clock. And I just, I was bleeding so much. And then, so I called my nurse in. The doctor came in. And the doctor's like, yeah, it's best. Because I, I was actively bleeding. It wasn't like it was just stopping. I was continuous. So they decided to just go ahead and do the C-section. And within an hour of, like, getting on that table, I probably, because I got in the OR at 4.45 a.m. At 5.08, he was born. And then, sorry, somebody else had come in. So, like I said, at 5.08, he was born. And then by 6.07, you guys saw I was already in the recovery room. So everything was quick, easy. Um, because of the epidural or the spinal tap or whatever it's called, it was painless and I'm starting to get my feeling and my legs and feet back already. So, I mean, it was quick, you know, um, I'm just ready to see baby boy. He came super early, uh, technically 29 weeks and one day today. So he's early and, um, I mean, it's up to him and how fast he grows up to the doctors and stuff, but He'll probably be in there until at least 35 weeks, you know. It just depends on how well he does. So, um, stay tuned for our NICU journey now. Um, and just, you know, watching our family continue to grow. We're a family of four now, which is crazy. I officially have two kids. They're 13 months apart <laughs> uh, and four days. 13 months and four days. Because, you know, Isaiah was born... Isaiah was born March 2nd, and he was born April 6th, so it's pretty exciting. It's just, you know, I'm ready to go see him, my little tiny, tiny baby, my little preemie, but I'm sure he's going to grow big and strong and just probably outgrow Isaiah. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll just keep you guys updated, and we'll eventually end this video somewhere, but <laughs> um, yeah. Hey y'all, so it is April 6th at 12.19 p.m. And um, I just pumped a little bit. I got a first little drops of colostrum for baby number two. Um, Michael's gonna go take it over to the NICU and grab me a couple labels for the next couple hours, next couple pumps. Um, I still haven't been able to go over there myself, but hopefully soon, they said once I get the catheter out and, you know, feel a little better, then I'll be able to go. Um, so that's pretty much it for the updates, but I just wanted to show you how proud I am. I got like 0 0.2 milliliters <laughs> of little colostrum. You can see it. So I'm happy about that. Um, hospital provided me a pump and stuff. So, you know, we're doing great. I feel good. I'm ready to go see baby boy um it's just a waiting game still you know so stay tuned and um once i go see him i'll try to bring my phone and record a little bit and then that'll pretty much be the end of this video the next couple videos are just gonna be well catching up because you guys haven't even seen the 40 ultrasounds yet so let me i'm gonna do that video next and then you'll finally meet baby boy, which I think he looks just like the 4D ultrasound. So that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> hey guys, it's happening. I'm finally gonna go see baby boy. I'm so excited. Um, I'm probably not gonna record while I'm there just since he's so little, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it's finally happening happening and I'm, I'm super excited to see my baby hey guys so it is what is that 10 30 on april 6th and 
Um, the last clip uh, we showed you was us on the way to the NICU. Everything is great. We're doing good. Baby boy is nice and stable. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I've been pumping and trying to reintroduce like introduce my milk and I've been getting little droplets of the colostrum so I've been taking down syringes for him um Michael and I just got back from the NICU again and um they were able to take his tubes out he's breathing with a CPAP machine I'm not gonna post any videos of him right now just because he's so little um but when I first saw him, I did. I'm not going to lie. I bawled my eyes out. Um, he's just, he's very tiny. Um, he, they've got him in a little incubator box, just staying warm. Um, it's kind of crazy. Like, but you know, he's good. He's nice and he's, he's strong and he's healthy. He's breathing with the CPAP machine, like I said, um, but they're gonna, like, slowly wean him off of that also. They said tomorrow they can try to start giving him some of my milk, so I'm just gonna continue to pump, and, you know, my mom came in and did my hair, that's why I look good, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just been a long day, so I'm gonna, you know, set a couple alarms, because I have to pump every three hours, and, try to you know get my milk stimulated but um that's pretty much it for this vlog our labor and delivery vlog um we're gonna be posting the 4d ultrasound next so that way you guys can see what he looked like in my belly and that video that that ultrasound was taken at 27 and a half weeks and he was born at 29 weeks so there's really not much of a difference in what he looks like there and now like it, it honestly it looks like him it's it's kind of crazy but he does look like me he's got my my little top lip it looked like so I mean I'm excited I'm excited to just see him grow and get strong and you know reach all his milestones and I was able to touch him this last time that we went in so I'm very happy about that his cry is so soft it's so little but, you know, yeah, we have a NICU baby. We have a little preemie baby. Um, he's definitely going to be here for a couple weeks. Hopefully he can go home sooner than later if he just reaches all his milestones. But, you know, we'll see. He's little. I'm not going to, you know, it, I, I don't know. We're just, it's up to, to him and everything and, you know. Um... But they said he's stable and he's doing good and um we're just happy that he's you know here and doing well so they're doing so well so far so just stay tuned for more videos and more updates on baby boy and you know our growing family of four right now we're a family of four so thank you guys for watching and um like and subscribe and <laughs> Yeah, I don't think anybody likes and subscribes. It's going to be pretty much like video logs for our family. But, um, yeah, thank you. I love you, baby boy. Uh, we'll eventually pick a name. <laughs> and you'll hopefully love it. Um, We're so happy that you're here. And uh, I just can't wait to hold you, honestly. Okay. Before I start crying on this camera, let me just go ahead and thank you.